Hi, my name is Kyle, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use C4 Depot's Real Sky Studio. Okay, so as you can see, we've installed it, and I have it over here open in my content browser. Uh, basically, what we have here is a bunch of preset skies that aren't just panoramas, but fully functional lighting systems with adjustments and special ambient lighting we haven't really seen yet in C4D. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pop one of these in here by double clicking. Once you double click, the scene is added into your layer browser. Um, as you can see, it's added the full environment, it's added sunlight, and environmental uh, ambient lighting. So um, here's our user interface over here. Um, we have the ability to change the color of the sun if we wish, um, the intensity of the sun, the size of the shadows adjusted here, the sun flare um, is when you are looking directly at the sun. Uh, the sun creates sort of a, a flare effect. If you want it more intense, you can increase this slider. Uh, this is for the size of the sun flare. Now, this is what's special about this is our C4 Depot ambient lighting system. Basically, what we have here is a way to add ambient lighting in a more realistic way than, say, dropping in a tag from your menu here. Uh, where is that bad boy? Yeah, this guy. Environment. Um, you know, you can you can add environment color, but uh, there's no realistic in light interaction with that. It's just a solid color. Uh, with our C4 Depot ambient lighting system, let me just turn off the sun here, and you could kind of see it in action. Um, you're going to get ambient lighting. Um, that also casts shadows. So, I should say, simulates ambient occlusion. So, um, what you're gonna what you're gonna do is use this as a one-two kind of combo with your sun, which the preset already has it worked out for you. But, um, you know, this is without global illumination. So, what's lighting these shadows is the ambient lighting here, and you can see we have some nice uh, ambient occluding going on in the shadows here and um with that said uh while that's on this is actually the color that's lighting it and if we wanted to change the color of the shadow we simply change the color of the ambient lighting so that's going to cast um, a color light down wherever the sun's not hitting creating a more realistic way to to uh have ambient lighting which is really cool um, you got your brightness for that here, and if you wanted to turn off the ambient shadows, you can. It speeds up rendering times a little bit, but as you can see, less realism in the ambient lighting. So I'm going to leave that on, and then here's the parameters for the strength of the ambient shadows and the quality. So if you want to want less noise, higher quality, you can go ahead and increase that. Here I have um, some fog options. You can go ahead and play with that to your heart's content and um, this is where we have our image loaded for the background sky so right now we have this nice image here maybe you feel it's not saturated enough well you can come in here and adjust uh, the filtering levels like so to get more of a you know abstract look if you desire that and um, so it's totally customizable totally rigged all up in Expresso. We have tons of um, parameters being adjusted by this simple control panel here. And uh, it really couldn't be easier to use to get really great effects for your scenes. One click solution for professional renders. I'm going to go ahead and show you some presets from another test subject here. So here I have the city I made. And um, to save time, I'm just going to open up my picture viewer. So here we go. I just basically what I did is I, I have my city here and I I dropped in the light and hit render. So 
I'm going to kind of scroll through the different presets. Here's the clear sky. This is our uh, one of our sunsets. Another option for a sunset. This is a sunrise. So um, the stormy night sky with the moon. Um, that, this is another partly cloudy. So as you can see, you know, you just drop these in, hit render, and you will have awesome, amazing results. And I, I think it's worth mentioning that um, this uh, ambient lighting system and sun, you should be able to move through space any direction in, infinitely. You'll never catch up to the sun. You'll never run out of ambient lighting. So it works like an infinite atmosphere should. Um, I know there's some maybe some other things out there that don't don't have that capability but ours does. And I actually have one last thing to show you. Okay here we go. So um, we also have I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the the night sky stuff here. So I'm gonna delete partly cloudy here. I'm gonna create uh, this starry sky and it's loaded in um, so it this comes with a nice uh, moonlit um, scene here and, and we have a moon that is fully customizable so you can come here and see our moon attributes if things like color if you wanted to change um, the color of the light being cast uh, the brightness of the light the uh, shadow color samples for quality for noise uh, you could ch change the position with these sliders here the size with these sliders here um, you can even change the color get like a whatever harvest moon look and um, you can change the the type of moon you have so if you want say a uh, crescent moon you go ahead and move these sliders here and uh, you can change the brightness of the bright side of the moon and and how dark you want the part of the moon where the light isn't shining to sh if you want it to show a little bit or a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a render and there you go you have a moon stars and a fully rigged up environment with a very easy to use interface right here should get you some really amazing results hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope this product rocks your world I know it has mine it's really sped up my workflow you guys have an awesome day take care now